Hi Tenfold, my name is Rory Sang and I need help with that question. Thank you. Right, let's take a look at this. It says, if of x is equal to log base a to x, where the base of a is greater than zero. S, which is a point at one third and negative one, is a point on the graph of f. Okay, so we know that whatever this equation is, if you substitute a third into x, you are going to get negative one. So it says prove that a is equal to three. Okay, so if you saw our theory video earlier, if we have y is equal to log a to the x, by exponent laws, it's basically saying that if we want to find x, we take the same base and we raise it to the exponent y. So if we apply that logic, to this graph here, we've got f of x is equal to log base a x. And we've been given s. So we know that the y value is negative 1 at s. And log base of whatever a we are using, and we substitute in x to the third, that equation is sound. So now to find the base of a, we can manipulate it to be in this format. So remember, x is the third, so we're going to have one third, is equal to the unknown base that we're trying to find to the exponent of y. And remember, if you have a to the negative one by exponent's laws, it takes a to the denominator. Similarly, if I had a to the negative two, it would be one over a squared, okay. So now that we have these two fractions, well, the numerators are equal to each other and therefore the denominators must be equal to each other and therefore a is equal to three, which is exactly what we had to prove. Easy peasy stuff. Secondly, it says write down the equation of h, the inverse of f in the form of y equals. Okay, so now remember, if you guys have just tuned in, I had a little bit of a math rant earlier. A lot of you guys, when you see find the inverse of your graph, you are inclined to say one divided by the equation. Because in every other aspect of maths, if I say the inverse of three is one over three, that's perfect, that's completely sound. They're reciprocals of each other. But the moment you have inverse functions, please, pretty please, don't say one over f of x or one divided by the equation of f of x. You will get it wrong. If you're trying to find the inverse of a function, you swap the x and y values and then you solve for y. Okay, so we're going to apply that to this equation here. We found that f of x is equal to log base three of x. So now we need to swap the x and y values for h. So for h, we're going to have x is equal to log base three of y, which means that y is equal to the base of three to the exponent of x. Remember your exponent's laws. When you're manipulating logs and exponents, you keep the base. Remember, the bases are the same. Okay, so h of x, is equal to three to the power of x, and that is the inverse of f in the form of y equals. So if we were to draw that, before we go on to the next question, we're going to have our log graph that would look, um, I'm just gonna go on a whim here, it would look something like this, or it would have a completely different shape. But the point is, if you have your log graph and you reflect it over the line y equals x, that is where you get your inverse, and that is where you're going to get your exponential graph. It's gonna look something like that, okay? So, make sure you understand that if you reflect a graph over the line y equals x, which is what this line is here, you are going to get its inverse, okay? Lastly, it says, determine the values of x for which f of x is greater than or equal to negative <clears> three. <throat> now remember, when you're trying to do this, you would first treat it like an equality. So you're going to say f of x is equal to negative three, which means that we have log base three of x is equal to negative three. And now remember when we're trying to solve for these, we say that x is equal to the base of three raised to the power of negative three, which is the same as saying one over three to the power of three, which is one over three cubed, which is one over 27. Okay, so to find where f of x equals negative three is one over 27. 
Now it makes sense that because we have a positive base and we're trying to get greater than that, it would be greater than or equal to this. Okay, so if it says equal to, you can start with making your function equal to the number that you're trying to find. So f of x is greater than or equal to negative 3 when x is greater than or equal to 1 over 27. Okay, make sure if you don't understand this, draw your graph out and map it out and see where the graph is bigger than negative 3 or lies above negative 3. You can also say that x is an element of, because it's equal to 1 over 27 and positive infinity, but remember, round bracket for infinity because it won't actually ever touch infinity. Square bracket because it touches 1 over 27. If you had f of x is just greater than 3, you would have to use round bracket 1 over 27 and round bracket at infinity because it doesn't actually touch the point where it equals 3. Okay, so that is it for our fourth question of the day. Thank you so much for sending it through.